Hey, what's going on, Cancer? How are you? My name is Antoine. Welcome to the House of Luminance. Thank you guys so much for your time. I do appreciate it and value it. This is the general energy reading for the week of September 18th through 24th of 2022. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and get right on into it. Ooh, three of Swords wanted to come out and be seen. All right, well. <laughs> We won't take it though this time. It was I just noticed that it was upturned in the deck. All right, energies for cancer messages for you for the week of the 18th through the 24th, 2022. What's going on for cancer? So Cancer, your challenge here is the Two of Pentacles, all right? So you might have a lot on your plate this week, I see, okay? Um, there might be some things that you need to juggle, all right? Important things, things that you feel that are important, and then maybe things that other people think that should be important, okay? Maybe there may be a question of your priorities. Your priorities come into question this week, okay? Um, so I definitely see you kind of maybe straddling your responsibilities okay and not that it's not possible because <laughs> i mean we we do it every day you understand so it is possible but i think that this may that there may be a particular challenge this week as you try to carry that out okay we're going to continue to move forward the queen of pentacles the eight of pentacles and the King of Swords. Mm. Okay. I feel like uh, how much energy should you give to yourself versus how much energy you should give out to others. Um, you know, I think that Cancer, you, you have a really giving energy. You have a really giving spirit this week. All right. And um, but not even just this week, just in general. You're very, you know, you're very generous. You know, um, you put a lot of passion and hard work into your craft, okay, because you take pride in it. This week, though, you need to make sure that you use some of that for yourself. I feel like that's where the choice of priority comes into question, okay, because now it's like, all right, well, listen, I got to get myself together before I can continue to help anybody else. You might have to start laying down some rules, laying down some boundaries that I see here with the King of Sword energy, okay? So moving forward here, now we have the two of swords. So, okay, yeah. So it's definitely a, a here or there or this or that. You know, it's it's like, hey, it's you or me. You know what I mean? And, and, and I'm not saying where you're making somebody choose between you or somebody else. Like, no, I mean, it's like, this is what you're saying to yourself. Like, it's, 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 a, it's a matter of survival. It's a matter of you know, me putting my energy into my own self. Either I can continue to do that to for them, to my detriment though, or am I gonna go ahead and start boosting myself? You understand? Yeah, they might not like it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, hey, I mean, what are you to do? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's you or me. Either Either I continue to help them to my detriment or I start putting stuff, you know, putting, you know, uh, making myself survive. You have so many gifts and talents and skills, Cancer, that I believe that you can begin to utilize for your own advancement. But you have to change your mindset to do that or you have to at least understand. Or you, have, you have to get more strict about who you allow to... Um, who you allow yourself to associate with as well. Uh, but also, ew, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, I'm so sorry, y'all. You have to really just be strict and be really strategic about who you allow yourself to associate with and also um, what, how much you allow yourself to uh, be associated with them. Okay, Queen of Swords. Yep, yeah, here we go. Queen of Swords and then the Five of Pentacles, Okay. So it looks like, honestly, it looks like you're probably going to have to start cutting some people off, Cancer. And that's why that Two of Pentacles is there 
right at the top of your challenge part of the reading. You're going to have to start cutting people off. It's going to feel lonely. It's going to feel like people are saying, oh, cancer's cutting me. And see, they're not going to expect that from you, cancer, because see, cancer, you're supposed to be the one who feels. You're supposed to be the sensitive one, right? Cancer, you're supposed to be the one to take it on the chin all the time. You know what I mean? And that's not what's, that's, no, it's like, it's, Nah, I, I, I have to start making some moves and they're not going to like that. It's going to be some relationships, I feel, with the King of Swords, whether it's relationship like, uh, uh, excuse me, whether it's romantic relationships, platonic, familial, you know, uh, professional relationships. It doesn't matter. Like whatever this is, as soon as you begin to say, all right, I need to start working for myself or I need to start you know, doing some self-improvement, self-care. As soon as you start talking about self-care, you know, it becomes either they ghost you and they leave you behind or you get to a point to where you have to cut, you have to cut them off. Okay. So I wanna, I'm interested to see what else we got. Okay. Oh, look what that leads to the Ten of Cups and then the Princess of Wands. And then the four of wands, yes, so it's more kind of like getting rid of bad apples, getting rid of bad seeds so that your ten of cups situation can manifest, okay? Um, it's one of the first beginning steps that you need to take here with the princess of pentacles. There's a path, all right? And also the princess of Pen pentacles in relation to the challenge card here, the two of pentacles, see the princess or the page, she's chosen her path. And all she has to do now is, you know, go down and walk it, Okay. But I do feel like there's like an on-the-fence energy like I kind of spoke about earlier, only more so due to the fact that you know you're at a point now where, like I said, you have to look and be like, all right, it's it's I have to choose myself or, or I'm not going to survive. You understand? And for some of you, it actually may be that dramatic. And it may be even like somebody really close to your home or someone that you live with. I definitely feel like it's a person that... Um, that you're really in a close relationship with. But the thing is, is that it's the king and the queen of swords. So while they are the king and the queen of swords, you know, there's there's probably a lot of miscommunication. There's probably a lot of, um, I, I see, what's, what's the, uh, the uh, what is it called? When you don't, um, the silent treatment. Yeah, I see like a lot of silent treatment, like being used as a form of, you know, <laughs> passive aggressiveness in a way. All because you decide that you you want to do better for yourself. And the thing is, is that you weren't even probably weren't even really like discussing leaving somebody behind completely. But it's come to a point to where you will actually have to cut them off because whatever change you're trying to make or only because of the fact that you're trying to do something for yourself, it means that they're more concerned about benefiting from the situation because you were providing something. So I'm going to pull some, um, some uh, fortune cards here from Madam Endura because I'm just very, very interested in Kind of seeing how we should really approach this cancer because I see where all you want to do, you know, I mean, you got priorities, you got bills to pay, you get, you got mouths to feed, you know what I'm saying? You got people that you care about, other things that you care about as well. And it's like, okay, it's time to start making some priorities. And unfortunately, there's somebody or there's something out here that just does not, it's not as big of a priority. And so what? You need to make a shift. You need to make a change. And now that person is, is all woe is me. But that's what it has to occur in order for you to begin to initiate those steps towards that Ten of Cups, like I said, okay? I don't think you're going to be, you're you're not even going to miss that energy too much. In fact, you're probably going to be, you're probably going to feel lighter. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull a few cards here from the Madame Endura Fortune deck and just to get a good feel of how, how we should approach this energy. Okay, the serpent, all right, a sly and subtle approach is needed. Well, 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 I was just saying, how should we approach it, all right? The unicorn, good fortune and friendship, okay? 
Okay, we got two more cards. We have the night triumph over adversity and then seduction. Passion and romance await. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it feels like this person is even going to take it an extra step further by like maybe spreading malicious rumors or just, you know, getting people talking in not so attractive ways about you. Understand, Cancer, that those plans are going to backfire. Um, the thing is, is that people are not even going to really, I don't think people are really going to believe it. Um, people are going to see People are going to see through it and they're going to see all the hard work. I don't really think that you need to say much or any or, or do much of anything. It feels like this person is going to fall back on their own. Um, they're going to catch hints, right? And they're just going to fall back on their own, okay? And which is going to be work out good for you, all right? But they are going to try to like spread word about you in like crazy little ways or whatever. However, I feel like the people that they talk to you about or talk to about you, I don't think that they're going to really believe it um, here with this triumph over adversity. I almost kind of see it as the knight of swords. But uh, <laughs> um, I think that you've established great relationships with people around you as well to where they're, they're not even going to believe that that's in your character, cancer. OK, um, and so it really kind of just backfires. In fact, uh it actually kind of, it feels like it reveals this person's obsession with you in a way. Mm. Let me know, Cancer. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. And um, I guess I'll get to see you all next week. Okay. I do appreciate your time. Thank you so, so much. Take care.